Mustafa and I and Aiden, we are going to the market and we are going to be doing some little shopping. So let's go together. I hope to show you around and actually see some of the things that are going on in the Turkish market. Meanwhile, this is my wearing for today. Something inside black and this shirt it is winter so we are all wearing this type of uh, shirts so we are going to the market i'm taking the kids uh, i hope to show you around what we're gonna be shopping and yeah come with us so let's go so you see the other side uh, um, this is the street on this street there are so many businesses going on people are doing business a lot of things going on as well as people are living upstairs but downstairs we have a lot of businesses going on yeah and it is super busy especially during the evening uh, normally we have a lot of cars coming driving people driving crazy so you have to be very careful on the streets Abla bu büyük Mustafa aynı Mustafa Ejrin gibi. Mustafa. Aynı model yani kızlara model bul. Alo. Baki. Mustafa what are you doing? Oyuncak adam kollu. Kitaplara şey, istiyor. Şey kollar var ya yedi. Tamam tek bir tek bir. Mustafa aynı. Bende mi? İstiyor. I went to the market and came back and uh, some of the things I bought were my stuff. <laughs> I'll show you. This is actually powdered uh, cinnamon. I'm a big fan of cinnamon so I bought these two. I also bought a uh, Turkish coffee. It was grinded while I was there. Okay, this is a Turkish coffee. We're going to be tasting this one right now and drinking together. And I got this big ginger, fresh ginger. Ah, I can't wait to test, like to make my tea with this fresh ginger. I love ginger a lot. And then I had to buy these flax or flax seeds for my hair. This is the first time I'm going to be using on my hair and I'm going to be doing it later. And you're going to be seeing the results I want to try for my natural fussy hair. For now, let us make some Turkish coffee. Okay, let us leave this one here. Make some Turkish coffee as we talk. So to make my Turkish coffee, first let's put this one in a jar. I normally put my Turkish coffee here. This is not the brand of this, but I just love putting it there. Mm, the smell of coffee, fresh coffee. It's so so so appetizing guys. If you have ever been in Turkey, you will understand what I'm saying. I love the smell of Turkish coffee. Of or maybe just let me just say the grinded coffee. It's super super nice. So this is it. And I want to make uh, a cup of coffee together me and you we're going to be drinking. So for me um, because I'm alone, I'm going to take one I'm gonna scoop all of it just like that and add here as you can see and we're gonna add some sugar I love my Turkish coffee with sugar water in this Turkish coffee mm, cup Make sure that you're mixing everything we are going to mix everything before putting on the fire so let it boil and then we're going to see what Mustafa is doing. He bought the book, so he's coloring. Can I see how you colored? Wow, this is very nice. This is for animals. Hi, one llama. Ah, can you see? Hi, one llama. 
Chilek Boya Mum. <laughs> so my step is coloring and you can see he's doing an amazing job. Adrian, can I see what, what you've done? For you, can I see? You are not, you are not? This is for what? I want a gap for animals. Let animals. me check. Uh, this is for animals. What have you done? But Adrian, you are not doing it well, Aniji. What is this? Color nicely like Mustafa. Mustafa show your sister to color very well. I'm gonna come back and teach you what is this. This is a tortoise, okay? <laughs> Our coffee is ready. So to serve coffee, if you're gonna serve a Turkish person, make sure that you are adding in water. We have some candies they normally serve uh, together with the coffee. But for today, I'm not going to be eating some Okay, I, I, I, I didn't even have uh, candies right now, so I'm going to put in my cup here. I hope it tastes well. <laughs> Can I see what you did? Bang it! Choku Good boy, good girl. Okay? So this is our coffee and I want to try this one. Turkish people have a lot of uh, stuff like brands. They have a lot of uh, uh, snacks and stuff. So this is from Ulkar. This is Kes Kestra. I don't know how to say it. Jolly Bowl. Jolly Bowl Chilek. I think it has something with the strawberry inside. So it is kind of a cake. So let me, let me, let me try to open inside. And see how it looks like. Ah, you're gonna remove. Ah, it looks like this one. Okay, I've I've always wanted to show you guys some of the snacks or candy sweet that you can get here in Turkey. So this is one of them. I'm gonna be eating this one together with my Turkish coffee. So let's sit down and eat, guys. Welcome, off you to soon. This is how we normally tell uh, if you are serving a Turkish person. Oshkalde, Oshkal, I think it is, means uh, welcome or something, but you say it when you are welcoming someone at home, not. And then when they see it, you bring some Turkish coffee, you tell them, Buire, I'm a Buiro. And also, you tell them, you tell them that, uh, you tell them, Afiotus. Mm, Afiotusu means like bon, bon appetit, bon appetit or, or something to do with um, a nice eating or nice meal or something like that. I don't know. Is it? It is what it is. So let's sit down there and we're gonna be talking. Let us sit here and we can have a chat, a chill chat together. Let me test this Turkish coffee and see how it tastes. I've never bought a. Uh, coffee from this place but I want to try and see if it tastes nice or not. Ani jim bu benim. Başka yok. Tamam, go to sit down. She always eats my snacks. Go to sit down. Wow, this tastes so nice. Not the same coffee I normally drink. Mm, I think I love this one. I think I love this one. That when you finish your Turkish coffee, uh, normally you have to drink some water. It is very important for you. Some people find Turkish coffee too much strong, so try to uh, actually drink some water. Uh, and I wanted to share with you another culture that I have seen. Once you finish your Turkish coffee, it's gonna have some residues like this. So one culture that was interesting for me the first time when I came here was like Turks or maybe Turkish ladies. I saw it from the ladies. Uh, they will actually finish their coffee and do something like this. They're gonna actually flip the cup and let it settle. Okay, just let it settle. And then once it settles, sometimes some girls who are not married, they're going to put a maybe if it is a ring like this one, they're going to put here to manifest or maybe to like to see their future spouse. 
and for some women sometimes they put some money in terms of coin and actually manifest in terms of actually having a lot of wealth and some some people normally just uh, a lot of things that are actually superstitious it is a culture that you might see here in turkey so once it has settled they gonna turn it on like this mine is not coming well and then they're gonna start reading the cup can you read if you're a turkish person can you read and also this culture i saw it in turkey in arab countries in qatar uh and dubai i saw most of the arabs doing the same thing <laughs> reading the cups and they can read and stuff like that i don't know how they normally read i think it is just some superstitious uh, cultures uh, and beliefs that are actually interesting so if you ever find yourself in turkey and you see them doing this just know that it is normally not true it is some some sort of uh, culture can i see come come here come can you show me what you have done mustafa is a very smart boy can you see what he's done he's trying to learn to color and he is nowadays he does an amazing job after managing good boy good job go to make bashka come on man so that keeps him actually busy and i love how he's doing it so guys the